Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for May 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's dive into this. I have your pre-shuffle energies here. Starting you off with the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, both in reverse. Now, this came out through my first round of shuffling. And with this, the King of Swords was at the bottom of the deck. But then I felt very strongly that I needed to pull more. So I did. So then we have three more cards on the table, plus the overall energy, which is the Empress right now. But I'm kind of feeling, okay, this is this is a little bit, uh, this is a challenge for me to decipher because I'm not exactly sure what this means. First of all, this isn't a love reading. This is your general reading, okay? I'm going to get into your love reading afterwards, and that's going to be available on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. You can also find the link in the description box below. It feels like this has to do with love in some way. There could be some sort of relationship on the horizon for you. Um, there could be someone that is like, has like piqued your fancy, that someone that you might be keeping tabs on, you might have your eye on or something, but I don't feel like you're really trying to make many offers right now. With the King of Swords that was at the bottom of the deck at first, it feels like and this could either be you, Pisces, or it could be someone that you're 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 connected to. Maybe this could be the cross watcher. Um, the energies of the cross watcher here and if you don't know what that means don't worry about it just take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't because it's also this is a general reading but it feels like with that king of swords that was on the bottom of the deck at first initially there is a level of neutrality that you're taking or at least trying to take i feel like you're in a very observant state right now with the seven of pentacles and the ace of cups in reverse i feel like you've had some experiences in the past that you have in fact kind of semi-learned from here but maybe what you've learned from the situations have put you in a little bit of a negative space here i don't feel like you're really looking to give any sort of love and yet i don't feel like you're really trying to hold it back forever as well i think you're kind of waiting for the right circumstances and so then i was i was guided to pull a little bit more and you have the ten of swords now with the six of cups and the chariot with the empress at the bottom of the deck the funny thing about this pisces is that when i first shuffled before i even pulled your pre-shuffle energies I, the, the empress it landed with the empress at the bottom of the deck um, initially, which I thought was pretty cool. And I kind of felt like initially, because I was guided to look at the bottom of the deck and I, that's when I saw the Empress. And so I feel like there is an individual around you or some sort of energy around you that's very Empress-like, very divine feminine-like, um, very nurturing, very caring, very loving, that I kind of feel like you might want to move forward towards here, the Chariot, Six of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. The Chariot is the energy of you moving forward towards this, but it's also you kind of moving forward in a, in a fairly new direction. And I say fairly new direction because ultimately the direction that you're moving in now is one more towards geared towards compassion and love and it could have been it could be that you might be holding back from that right now because of the experiences that you had in the past that were fairly negative that kind of taught you and and when, when i said you 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 for the most part you learned this lesson in the past earlier what i meant that by you learned something from it but you didn't kind of get the whole message it may have actually kind of put you in a place to be more guarded, more, more disconnected, more aloof than maybe you necessarily need to be. I mean, it feels like it was an over overreaction in a way, but Pisces, you're a very sensitive individual, so it makes sense why you might go to extremes to protect yourself. But I feel like, I feel like there's an energy of you coming out of that because you do have the Ten of Swords here, and with the Six of Cups, I feel like you're connecting to a desire from the past or something you understood in the past a feeling from the past and it feels like you're moving forward towards that low but ultimately sorry that was me and my roommate but ultimately you are being apprehensive at first it's almost as if with this chariot energy you want to dive into it you want to move forward towards it but at the same time common sense or at least the common sense that you've developed in terms of the situations from the past here is causing you to hold back a bit okay that's fine that's there, there really isn't anything wrong with that and i don't feel like this is all that destructive it might actually be a good thing at first just so that you know to protect yourself so you don't get too caught up or wrapped up too easily 
Um, I, I, and so in this case, I guess you did learn the right things. And now it's just a matter of coming out of a space of feeling closed off. All right. Yeah, look at that. Knight of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. There is an energy here for you of wanting to move forward. Either this is you or someone else, but there is right there. Wow. Okay, and now we have the star. All right, cool. Um, with a bunch of other things that I don't want to look at right now because I want to get into the rest of your reading. But there, with the Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, there's that offer that I was feeling that either you want to make or someone else wants to make on your behalf. Um, it, this doesn't have to be love, too, you guys. This is a general reading, okay? This is not your love reading yet. But okay, love tends to come up in, in general readings, too. So take it as it resonates, yeah? All right, Pisces. Let's see what else we've got for you here. Oh, sorry, guys. Hold on. I got to pause really quick. Okay. Sorry, Pisces. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So let's get into this and see what else we've got for you, yeah? Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved in terms of general energies for the month of May 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. Five uh, shuffles. Let's see what we've got here. One. Two. From a Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of May 2023. <clears throat> General energies. Form a Pisces. Four. And... All right, Pisces, let's see what we've got for you here. All right. Overall energy for you, Pisces. We have the Nine of Cups. This is a good thing. Okay, so your uh, mm, satisfaction is on the horizon for you. I feel like you're in a very good space right now. Um, you're in a space of, I guess, yeah, you're in a space of trying to focus on what's going to bring you happiness, what's going to bring you fulfillment, what's going to bring you satisfaction, contentment, and all that. I just feel like you're in a space, you're either in this space right now uh, trying to get there or you're actually very quite set up to receive a lot of really good stuff I feel like you're just kind of like flowing in this nine of cups space right now really trying to enjoy yourself seeking enjoyance seeking enjoyment seeking happiness um, and not really trying to give in to anything other than what's going to, pr to provide you with that, fulfill you in that way. There's the Six of Cups again. Okay, uh, Pisces, I feel like you're in a moment right now, which is very much connected to the rest of the collective, but I feel like you're really allowing yourself to dive into this moment of getting back to what is a sense of... Hmm Innocence, peace, a sense of home. What gives you that feeling of home right now? It's what I'm getting from the Six of Cups here and the Nine of Cups. And you may even be in a process of trying to build that, trying to focus on cultivating that for yourself. Pisces, this really is a perfect time period for that because things are on a, such a slowdown. And of course, this is for the month of May or this is in the month of May. Uh, whenever you're guided to watch this reading, then it's the reading for you in that time. So don't worry about the timing. But if you're watching this and this is resonating for you during the month of May or during this whole pandemic thing, season or period this is a perfect time for you to be doing this okay you have the time you have the space you have really the energetic space that's perfect for it for reorganization for revamping your life for focus on the things that make you happy and pulling those towards you yeah underneath the six of cups is damn there you go there's the seven of pentacles again wow and underneath the Seven of Pentacles is death. Okay, so good. So here's the thing, Pisces. You remember we were talking about the Seven of Pentacles and how there was a lesson that you probably learned. For the most part, you learned it quite adequately, but there is a level of it here that maybe you're closed off a bit to it or to whatever new is coming to you in terms of what you've learned or experienced in the past. 
I feel like, yeah, you really have learned this lesson. And the reason why the Seven of Pentacles may have come out in reverse with the Ace of Cups in reverse is the fact that you've learned your lesson and you're not trying to give in to something prematurely. You're not trying to give in to something too early for it to only, for you to put in a bunch of energy and a bunch of work and for it to just crash and burn. Okay. You've gone through a pretty good transformation, Pisces. And actually, I feel like some of you are still probably going through this transformation, but you're well under your way, like well on your way. You know, it's, it's, you, you're, you're, you've made some good progress already. All right, let's get into the rest of the situation here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. In the first half of your reading, we have the six of pentacles again reciprocity very good i feel like you are in a position of wanting to offer something to someone or pisces there could be someone that wants to offer something to you six of pentacles is coupled with the page of pentacles okay so there is a there is a brand new start um this actually pisces i'm not gonna lie i know this isn't a love reading but this could very well be the start of a brand new relationship for you i feel like someone does want to make an offer here or someone at least wants to enter into a situation or a time in their life a period in their lives where the focus is care compassion love re reciprocity service all that kind of stuff the page of pentacles could either be an offer that wants to be given or an offer that's looking to yeah an offer that's looking to be given whether you're on the receiving end of that or not or this is a new start a new reality or it could be the beginning of both uh because i do see the page of pentacles as like a um that level up that new that 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 kind of apprentice yes it does represent the apprentice energy but it could also represent an apprentice in a new level a new playing field like you've you've graduated you've moved on to the next step the, new, the next phase in your life and i feel like this next phase has everything to do with reciprocity here for you okay second set of surrounding energies for you pisces judgment now this is good this is a higher calling i feel like pisces you're really getting into the vibration of raising your vibration living in a higher vibrational reality whether that means changing your diet to reflect that changing your life habits to reflect that changing your environment maybe even changing where you live changing the people that you have around you just or maybe even the way you changing the way you think about the world you approach life in this manifestation and all that there's a there, there's an, a level up that's happening there's also a, a, an awakening that's you're going through However, for a lot of you, I feel like you've already gone through this level of awakening and now you're like, and you're starting to enter into the physical representation of that higher vi vibration that you've risen into. Judgment is coupled with, okay, you do have the nine of swords here. That's very interesting. I wonder why you have the nine of swords. I don't really feel like much apprehensive energy here. This feels really nice. It feels really flowy. But now maybe some of you are actively going through this awakening process. You're like deep in the thick of it and this is freaking you out a little bit. Okay. There are some things that you're, you're going to need to leave behind. Okay. And that may be really, you're, you may be struggling with that. But any, ultimately, anything that's leaving your life right now, anything that is shifting out of your life is th are things that no longer are necessary for you to have in your life or they're no longer in, in a vibrational alignment with you but also there could be some elements to this higher calling that or this this ascension that you're going through or maybe even this new life that you're moving into um there are some circumstances about it that you're probably well aware of and you're just kind of like oh shit i don't know how that's gonna work out spirit well hey if spirit is if guiding you is guiding you towards it, if your higher self or your your heart is guiding you towards it, then obviously there's something there that needs to be experienced, and it's most and and I would trust that and just move forward. Okay, Pay, uh, uh, your challenge is coupled with no no. I'm so sorry. I'm all over the place right now. Your challenge is the five of cups. Okay, leaving the past behind. No, no longer seeing the value in certain things and allowing yourself to accept that, allowing yourself to mourn whatever is leaving you're leaving behind here. It's part of the process. And don't, you'll, you'll be okay, Pisces. I promise you'll be okay. 
it's going to be fine. Don't worry. I really feel like whatever it is you're moving towards now is actually much bigger and better for you. Five of Cups is coupled with... Oh, the Ten of Cups. There are some things you're going to have to let go of, Pisces, in order for you to really reach, in order for you to make that take that step from the Nine of Cups now to the Ten of Cups. And this is probably going to be a challenge for you because I feel like some of you are very much in your comfort zone. That's what the Nine of Cups could represent. Very much a comfort zone energy, complacency, and all that stuff. Um, but you know what's weird, Pisces? I feel like you do want to take that step from the 9 to the 10. It's just going to be a good amount of a challenge for you. And that's why you have judgment with the 9 of swords here, okay? But keep in mind, Pisces, again, whatever is falling away or whatever is changing in your life right now, it's changing in service of aligning with your 10 of cups, whatever that would be for you, whether that's romance or business or whatever is emotionally fulfilling for you, okay? That is what you're moving towards. That's what you're being asked to let go. That's why you're being asked to let go of certain things so that you can have that 10 that you've been seeking all along. It's literally clearing space. Whatever has spilled away or whatever is spilling away is literally clearing space for the new that's about to come into your life. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Pisces. You have the high priestess. Yes, there is a higher wisdom behind all of this. And... Oddly enough, Pisces, I feel like you are aware of this. So, okay, so this Five of Cups, Nine of Swords energy may not be so strong or so prominent for you. For others of you, you don't see it. You don't quite understand. Maybe you're not just, you're just not in that, that mind frame or that awareness yet to really kind of understand how, you know, there is a deeper meaning or a higher meaning to everything. But there is a good amount of secrecy here, but ultimately it's all going to work out for your highest good. There are some elements that spirit just is not going to let you in on at first, because then that would potentially derail everything that you're trying to work towards, okay? The High Priestess is coupled with the Knight of Cups. Okay, Pisces, follow your intuition here. If there is something... That your heart is calling you to to do some sort of action that your heart is calling you to take specifically action with the knight or son of cups take it you may not understand you may not understand why you need to do that right now it may not make sense at all it may not even seem like it's going to get you any closer to where you need to go but if it's coming from your heart if it's coming from your intuition if it's something that's really just bugging you just plague not bugging or plaguing you but won't leave you alone you can, something you kind of can't escape. It's like it's everywhere. It just keeps coming up. It keeps popping up in your mind. Follow through with it. There's a reason for it. There's a higher purpose. There's a higher calling involved, okay? Let your heart guide you. Focus on your heart and not your mind. Oh, let me I say it this way. Focus with your heart, not with your mind, yeah? Okay, Pisces. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, we have the Eight of Swords. I really like the way the Eight of Swords is depicted in this deck because it's the image of a butterfly. And the Eight of Swords often feels like a mental prison, right? That's the card that we say this is mental entrapment. You can, in fact, break yourself out of that. Um, I feel like, Pisces, you've been in this period for maybe an extended amount of time, maybe even your whole lifetime, where you've been in some sort of cocoon preparing for an emergence. I feel like a lot of what you've been dealing with over maybe the course of this period or maybe even the course of your lifetime has been kind of setting you up to get to this place where you could finally find, yes, a sense of complacency and satisfaction. And yet from that place of satisfaction, you're starting to understand what is really more for you. What would really be more for you? What would really be ideal for you? And ultimately, that's giving you the opportunity to emerge from this cocoon as the butterfly transformed into a greater form of yourself than you were in the past. But I just really feel like Pisces, everything that you've been through up until now, whether that's your whole life or just like a certain period, has been leading you to this point. And this Eight of Swords actually really feels like a revelation for you, a realization of what could be better, how things could be better. Eight of Swords is coupled with 
the seven of wands. So ultimately what everything that everything that you've been through was helping you develop boundaries, was helping you find where your happiness lies and putting you in a position to stand up for that, to believe in that, to assert yourself there. Very nice, Pisces. I like that a lot. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, you have the Queen of Swords. Well, there you go. Here is the, the couple to that Seven of Wands energy, right? The Seven of Wands is boundaries, blockages, standing up for yourself. Um, the Queen of Swords is that energy as well. The Queen of Swords is someone that's really been through some shit. She's known as the divorcee. She's the, the, the single one, the independent individual. Um, and I feel like this is your energy. This is kind of your energy right now. I feel like you're a little, you might be a little jaded at this moment, Pisces, because of everything that you've been through, because you've kind of been having to, you know, uh, conform in a way. This Eight of Swords does kind of feel like conformity. But now here you are, kind of in a cold-hearted way, I'm not going to lie, kind of in a cold-hearted way saying, I don't, I don't know. I'm not doing that any longer. No, not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Queen of Swords is coupled with the Ten of Wands. If there is anyone out there that's going to help you clear away any sort of overburden, it's the Queen of Swords. Okay, you have the Ten of Wands here. All right, so you're you're cleaning away the brambles, you're cleaning away the brush. Maybe doing a little manscaping. I'm totally kidding there. Maybe you are, who knows. But, <laughs> but you know, I mean... The Queen of Swords is the perfect energy to cut away all of the superfluousness. And that seems to be where you're going, where you're headed, or what you're doing. I like it. Your challenge in the second half of your reading in May here, we have, okay, the Five of Pentacles. Wow. You went from the Five of Cups as your challenge to now the Five of Pentacles. That's really interesting, Pisces. Um, feelings of inadequacy. And, I, and I'm picking up that these feelings of inadequacy are something that you've been dealing with for a long time. It's something you're just now coming out of. And it could very well be the energy that kept you in this entrapment. Not feeling good enough, not feeling confident enough, not feeling worthy enough to really break free from the mold and step out on your own and stand on your own two feet and be the independent individual that you know you could be or that you may have always wanted to be. But I feel like you're coming out of that, Pisces, and that's part of this Queen of Swords energy is helping you break free from it. It may actually be that you have that change in perspective to now settle into the Queen of Swords energy and slowly but surely move away from this sense of inadequacy. And maybe even things not going the way you wanted them to. But see, that's the reason. See, this was a, a double-edged self-perpetuating cycle okay so there you have the nine of swords there okay this is what you're rising out of the reason why you may have felt less than lack not good enough blah 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 is because things weren't working out the way that you wanted or the way that you expected them to but ultimately you were approaching the situation from a frame of mind that didn't quite align with the truth of who you are or the truth of what you really want and so it was a self-perpetuating situation. You would get into something, it wasn't quite in alignment with you, so it would fall through or fail. And that would only reinforce these energies of feeling inadequate. But I really feel like you're rising above that, Pisces. Five of Pentacles is coupled with the star. Look, this is so beautiful, Pisces. Both challenges were have fives in them. One's the five of cups, one's the five of pentacles. But the coupling energies with those are beautiful. The ten of cups and the star. But this is absolutely you healing from these feelings of lack or inadequacy. Not being enough, not being good enough, not being attractive enough. That's all bullshit. Right? It was this five of pentacles energy that was really keeping you trapped, keeping you stuck. And now that you're moving out of that, now that you have the opportunity to heal from that, you and I, you also have the opportunity to move towards what it is you truly want, i.e. the ten of cups. Beautiful Pisces. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here. Hold on, let me shift a little. Okay. A hierophant. Teaching and learning. I feel like you learned a great deal 
for sure. Um, but And I also feel like you're going to be in a position to teach others. But also the Hierophant is kind of speaking to a commitment to, for you. Maybe even a marriage. I did just hear that very clearly. You could be moving towards a marriage of some sort, or maybe just a committed relationship. But I see you take, because the Hierophant can represent, the Hierophant represents conformity, right? And it, it does represent that conformity we were talking about here. But ultimately, this feels like for you, teaching and learning, but being in a position to now put into practice what it is you've learned over the course of this cycle, or maybe even the course of your life. The Hierophant is coupled with the, ooh, the lovers. Oh my God, Pisces, this really could be, you really could be heading for a marriage. A, commun a, a commitment, a really long lasting, beautiful, loving, caring, compassionate relationship. And actually both of you, it might be that both of you are kind of, if you are aware of each other right now, maybe you don't know what your feelings are for each other. Like you might know what your feelings are for the other person, but you don't quite know what their feelings are for you. I kind of feel like you two are kind of in the same boat in, in terms of what it is you've experienced in the past and over giving and being rejected and all that stuff. And because I, I feel like, I feel like you two that you, like for some of you, you and another person are kind of very much like the geese in this card here flying in tandem but you may not necessarily realize it. And that tandem energy is similarities between your experiences that will only really help you to align with each other, quite frankly. But also what this means here with the Hierophant and the lovers, speaking to the indoctrination or the conformity that you've dealt with, this, this Eight of Swords energy that you're ultimately emerging from as a butterfly, the Hierophant with the lovers can absolutely represent making a choice outside of the social norms. Making a choice that is very much in alignment with yourself. What it is that will truly make you happy. Instead of aligning with something that would be the Ten of Cups that other people say would be is the Ten of Cups, what actually is your Tenth Cup? You're in this Nine right now. You're in a very safe, healthy, grounded, and compassionate and content energy. But, the, but you do want more. I mean, it's not quite the Ten, right? But what would be your Ten? Not necessarily what someone else's Ten looks like or what other people say the Ten should look like for you. What is your Ten? That's this right here, the Hierophant with the Lovers, this is you making that decision, getting in alignment with what your 10 is rather than what social or society says your 10 should be, okay? This is a big common theme for the collective. I mean, this has just been coming out between Morning Coffee, which is my daily reading, and the monthlies for, this, for, for May. All right, Pisces, so we're going to get into the rest of the reading here, for, or I'm sorry, the... um closing message here from the unicorns and then we're going to get into your love reading which is available on patreon patreon.com slash divine conversations and the link can be found in the description box below yeah all right so let's get a closing message for you pisces from the unicorns here from a pisces sun moon rising venus and jupiter for the month of may in terms of these general energies from a pisceans there we go right there friendship and hope oh okay at the bottom of the deck you have received be open to receiving goodness believe you are worthy of abundance a gift is coming to you soon okay that's a beautiful energy and then you have friendship okay so seek out your soul family surround yourself with positive people spend more time socializing and in terms of a relationship you could have a relationship a romantic relationship that buds from a friendship that's funny because that's been something that's been coming up for me lately i mean uh, so it's interesting that it's coming through in this reading oh my goodness okay anyway finally you have hope okay stay positive the worst is behind you look up to the light and this actually is this is going right in line with what i was picking up on in the beginning in your pre-shuffle pisces so you've been through some shit You've been through some rough, tumultuous relationships, potentially, and you do want another, um, but you've found a sense of happiness and, and security, right, in what you've experienced and how you've grown from it now. It, you're going to be hard-pressed to give that up, but I don't think 
you will be giving that up should you move forward with a relationship that could be coming forward towards you. I feel like this relationship is going to be very different from whatever it is you've experienced in the past. And that's mainly because your alignment is different now. It's very much an energy where you may have been in this period of communication with the universe where it's like, okay, well, I'm not going to take anything that's like that old thing. And you've been standing your ground for a long time or long enough to adequately remove that karma out of your life. So now there's something new coming in that is much better suited for you. Okay, Pisces, but you need to make sure that you stay true to yourself. Keep this message in mind. The lovers with the Hierophant. Choose virtue over vice. Vice being the wishes and the, the desires of others. Virtue being the wishes and desires of your own self, your own heart here. Do not let social norms and conformity sway you from what is truly providing you your happiness. Okay? All right, Pisces. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm going to get into your love reading now. If you want to check that out, go over and follow me over on Patreon. With that said, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the next reading, most likely in May, in June. Possibly. We'll see. Anyway, much love. Take care. Bye.